uh, Binopolis well. It's not looking too good, man. We've got cardboard down there. Uh, we've got somebody's food bin down there. And the, the bin for the paper and cardboard is actually chock-a-block. There's no room for anything else, man. That's it. But this one here, this one looks like it's all right. This one, that's been empty, but the that one there is just shocking, man. Well, look at that. Rosie had to copy me. I'm a style maker for the car air freshener department, obviously. Uh, that's that uh, little Joe strawberry air freshener. She's got this one. I've got the yellow one. So that's uh, vanilla. Because yesterday when we got in the car, we brand and said, oh, it smells nice in here. And I was like, oh, yeah, good. So that's the vanilla. So Rosie's gone and got herself a strawberry, man. But she can't get out of the packet, so. Eh? Tough. She'll probably, you know, she'll probably hang it from the mirror like this, thinking that's how it works. Didn't realise that's car. I'll get it out of the box. Right, a bit of excitement here, folks. <clears throat> We've got breakfast. There's the new garage. The new 24-hour petrol station at the Green Pyramid of Consumerism. As you can see, there it is. And it's uh, card only. Yep, card only. There's no staff there. Look, it's just total. Yeah, it's our sign of the times over there. The uh, the new 24-hour garage, card only. There used to be a little sort of, uh, well, in Scotland, they call it a bucky. It's like a little place where the person sits and takes the money. Um, but it's not there anymore. It's gone. So obviously that's just uh, saving on staff and they've got the 24 hour card only um, pumps now, that's it. Right, I'm sitting here folks this morning having my McSausage McStuffin which I haven't had for ages so I thought I'm absolutely starving this morning after my lovely pasta meal last night. My red pepper sauce was delicious but I woke up this morning absolutely ravenous so getting stuck into this. Throwing out a bit of um, my McSausage stuffing to that poor one legged sort of crow. It's scruffy, it's only got one leg, it looks well beaten up, man. It's like it's lived a it's lived a tough life, that crow, a street crow. So, but if I throw a bit out, I bet you they will just get bullied. Look, they're all as soon as you put a bit out, look, they all start coming towards you. <laughs> oh. What is it? Oh, you've got your mouth open already, have you? What do you call loads of crows together? Oh, jackdaws, whatever they are. They're crows, aren't they? Um, I don't know what you call them. Is it a rookery of crows or a raven of crows or something like that? It's a, rook of, it's a rookery. Some of like that, anyway. So, there's loads of them. Just just chilling out here, man. Obviously, i got no more food from there. I threw a bit out and it went into the mouth of the one-legged crows. But I don't, don't know if I actually got the bit because I've seen another crow eating a bit. So, I don't know. Protest, right, the protest is about uh, the GMB Scotland. That's the uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, anyway, so as the respect your workers, yeah, as there's imposing uh, shift changes on their staff, basically, they're not going to get any breaks when we're getting paid for them. Their um, night shift supplements, they won't be getting those either and they, they can change their shifts and uh, stuff within four weeks notice. Um, so, you know, so for people who care, who need to look after people who have kids, yeah, it's gonna be a nightmare. If so they're suddenly gonna put a night shift or something, you know, and if they don't agree to it, then they're gonna get the punt, basically. So this is shocking, Nasdaq. Well, I didn't realize the green period of consumerism was also the, the green period of Stalinism as well, honestly. Right, can't have this though. Well, I need to go and have a look at that and see what's going on, because hourly rate work, it's the way forward these days, man. Um, I must admit to, to, you know, being worried about things like that, you know, just uh, the job security and and all sorts of things, you know, oh, it's just, it really is horrible these days. It's all, it's, and you know what's done it, folks, and we're all guilty of it, is it's online. It's, it's killing everything. Online shopping, online bingo, online gambling. It's, you know, it's, it's just taking away everything, man. The, the betting shops, particularly the betting industry, well, now you can just go on your phone and just ding, ding, ding. Whereas before you used to go into a shop and tick a thing and take it over and hello, thank you. And they were always busy. But nowadays it's just empty. It's same with the bingo hall. We're, we're quiet in the afternoon, still busy at night time. 
you know, and just um, just online shopping. You know, nowadays you can just line your bed, go on eBay, think I'll have that, thank you very much, rather than having to go on the bus, get uptown, go and get it, bring it home, look at it, and go, all oh, right, okay. You know, it's just it really is. We're all and we're all guilty of it. But what what are we going to do? What are we going to do about it? Hey, eh? what are we going to do? We're going to have this, are we? Staff. I mean, they're, they're the word. That's what I just tell you about. And as that up there, the the little um, thing, the little bits gone where the petrol attendant used to to sit and take your car you should two either side now they've got nobody just do it yourself now it really is becoming a do it yourself interline inter, interline is that a new word interline interweb web web shopping and everything it's all killing everything anyway am, am i ranting on i'm ranting on aren't i folks hello uh, i've got a favor to ask you I just wondering if anybody's got an old tape player to play this cassette um remember these things now my dad gave me this and it just says on the side of it jag unplugged so i'm guessing this is just me on my acoustic guitar um it doesn't say anything else on it that's what it says jag unplugged that's my dad's handwriting so i'm intrigued to see what's on it i'm sure it's something that i recorded when i was living in whitfield when i was unemployed and i'm sure it's something like it's raining i'm bored and i ain't got no money that was the theme of it and it's just songs of just sitting me sitting there so i just uh, with the cassette player on and just recording as i play just making it up as i go along a bit of sid barrettish you know sort of thing. So I'm looking for a tape player. I don't know if Bro's got one. I've asked Bro. He said, oh, I've got something in my garage, maybe, so I'm not sure. But if anybody's got a tape player out there that I could get a shot off, just, you know, for a night or something, that'd be awesome. Thank you very much. Remember these little ones you used to get? This little, ah, oh, and you just put your tape in again. No. Remember tapes, man. Look, come I in. Look at that. That was the way forward. That was it. There's music on. I'm on there. Look, I'm on there. I'm in there, man. And, uh, yeah, just, I'm dying to just hear what's on it. All right, so, folks, thank you. Joe, all right, Joe. Hey, thank you. <laughs> all right, that's Joe. That's the nutter man. He's in a onesie, <laughs> a onesie, and he's got his mate to take away a settee. He must have had a settee in his house that he didn't want, so he's got his mate to take it away. Good on Joe. Joe's all right. Joe's harmless. I like Joe. He's funny actually. What's this? I've got wine gums. All right, folks. Now I haven't had a wine gum for I don't know, about three weeks or something. You know, that's that's my addictive personality. See. It, you go through phases where you eat loads of the one thing. Um, for me at the minute, it's dry roasted peanuts. Um, and now it's going to be wine gums, obviously, so we're gonna get stuck into these. I'll have this, probably three packets. There's four packets in there, but I'll probably have two of them tonight. Mm. All right, we're off. To work we go.